Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today I'm going to show you a way to layer your potatoes in containers so you can maximize yield. We'll go over the minimum fertilizer and we'll go over some extra things you can add in if you feel like that's going to increase your yield. So these are four and a half gallon containers. I sell these at my seed shop. This is the smallest container I, I recommend. I'm going to also show you how to do this in 10 gallon containers just so you get an idea of the difference. First thing, here is a completed project. The whole length of the container, or the height of the container, is about 10 inches. So what we're gonna do is we're going to fill the bottom of the container. Any potting mix you wanna use, container mix is perfectly fine. I have plenty of videos on how to make your own potting mix, etc. I will link that in the video description. About three inches in the bottom, you're gonna drop in the smaller potatoes. I don't cut these. I have a video on cutting the larger potatoes down the middle, letting them scab over. I will link that in the video description too. So in the bottom, bottom three inches, we are just setting down two potatoes. And I like the smaller ones for that. Just give you a quick look. And we're going to take any organic granular, about a tablespoon. Most of them are the same. Organic granular is a slow release, basically chicken manure, blood meal, and bone meal. And we're gonna just sprinkle it around the surface and work it in like that. So that is the first layer. And then I take just a stick and I put it in there so I know where the potatoes are in the bottom. Then we fill the container up to about seven inches, six, seven inches. So that's another three or four inches on top of the potatoes on the bottom. The potatoes here, there's one right there by the stick and one right there. I am just going to place these by sinking them right onto the surface just like that. So I now have four potatoes in there. They're layered, determinate variety potatoes. I always think I'm gonna to say tomatoes. Potatoes, they grow, send up the greenery, and they produce potatoes right around this space. So you're planting these at different depths so that they're maximizing and filling the space with potatoes. So basically we're just layering them. So then we would go ahead, take that next tablespoon of fertilizer, sprinkle it on, and then just work it in. This is slow release, it's gonna feed over the season. These are red Pontiacs. They take about um, 70 days to be ready for harvest. It takes 14 days for these to really send up the greenery. About 70 days after that, you're gonna have potatoes. This is the basic setup, and then I would go ahead and fill it all the way to the top, drop in my marker. That sets up the potatoes really nicely. To this, because you have limited soil in here, you have four potatoes, you're gonna have big plants. You're gonna to have to feed this probably every two to three weeks with a water-soluble fertilizer. I re recommend the basic AgroThrive. It has a 332 NP and K. Just wanted to give you a close-up of the fertilizer since my camera work was a little shoddy on them. They were out of frame. So this is a perfect water-soluble fertilizer with a 332 NP and K. It's going to hit all the main macronutrients, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium that your plants need. Potatoes tend to like more potassium and phosphorus. They like potassium the most. My last potato video, I focused on phosphorus because that's what my garden needs. I wasn't really clear. Potatoes do enjoy more phosphorus, more potassium. Potassium is what they use a lot of. So you want a water soluble that has higher phosphorus and potassium in there, and the AgroThrive is a good water soluble. Sometimes fish emulsion is like a five nitrogen, a one phosphorus, a one potassium, so it's a little bit lower. I am affiliated with AgroThrive. Check out the video description for a discount. Water it in well with your water soluble fertilizer. Water soluble fertilizer gives this immediately, gives it fertilizer to use. The organic granular will feed over the period of time. Mixed into my soil, I also have compost, but again, check out the video description for that. So this is good to go. The next thing you have to make sure you do is water this. P potatoes mostly fail in containers because they're not given enough water-soluble fertilizer as they're growing, and they're not watered regularly. So when they're like this, once a week, keep it moist. When the greenery comes up, it might have to be 
two or three times a week depending on how large the plants are but don't let this dry out I like growing in these fabric pots I sell these at my seed shop you can't overwater in these any excess water just spills out of here so that sets up the four and a half gallon containers if you wanted to add more remember I said that they do like a little more phosphorus this is triple phosphate not necessarily organic depends on how it's mined etc it's up to you if you want to use it but it's a 0 45 0 phosphorus I just add just a little bit to the top you don't need much they do enjoy more potassium this is potash again it can be deemed organic or not depending on how it's made and harvested etc 0 0 60 just a little bit on the top and then I just work it in as it rains, as you water it, this will wash down. The plants will pick it up over time. You don't need much. It's not necessary. But I find that the plants do do a little bit better if you increase the phosphorus and potassium. Here are a couple ways to increase potassium and phosphorus for your potatoes. You don't have to do this. Compost and your basic organic granular will work. This is potash. It's a 0, 0, 060. Higher in potassium, the more bloom is the water-soluble fertilizer. The phosphorus and potassium are immediately available. That's a 0, 10, 10. There's no nitrogen. You don't want excess leaf growth in your potatoes, you know, come mid-season and stuff. You want to increase the potassium, maybe the phosphorus too. And this is triple phosphate. will increase the phosphorus. That's a 0, 45, 0. The um, triple phosphate potash are not organic. It's up to you if you want to use 100% organic products. This will not harm your plants. This will not harm you. You're using it in a very targeted way. But these are just options to increase, again, the potassium and the phosphorus. Finally, if you don't want to use the 332, I am not affiliated with More Bloom, but this is no nitrogen whatsoever, 10 phosphorus, 10 potassium. It's a good water-soluble fertilizer for root, root crops. Just water it in. Maybe use that once a month in conjunction, you know, swap out every couple of weeks, use this, and then go to the More Bloom. You can find that in my Amazon store in the video description. This sets it up. Let's move this out of the way. Let's go to the 10 gallon potatoes. These are Kennebec potatoes, and these are 10 gallon pots, and I'm putting in three potatoes instead of two. Same setup, you drop in three. There's about three inches of soil, a little bit more. If you are using centimeters, just times the inches by 2.5. That will give you the depth in centimeters. So about three inches, again, tablespoon of the organic granular. And if you're on a budget or you have a lot of compost, there's already compost in here, you could just use the organic granular, your compost, and that's gonna be enough nutrients. You can add in the other things, it does make a difference, but not using them isn't going to stop this from producing potatoes for you. I just don't want you to feel like you have to overspend. So we put in the potato, space it like that. I would drop the stick there so I know where the space is. And what I'm tr not, trying to not do is put the potato right over the other potato. So I put one here. Let me turn this. So I put one here, one here, and one here. I do a triangle. And then in between the potatoes, that would be sitting right there. I drop these in. It's about three inches of soil on top of the potatoes on the first level. Drop these down. We'll just throw the fertilizer in now. Work it in and then I fill it the rest of the way. Fertilizing the tips, I showed you do it the same way as the four and a half gallon containers. This is a great way to grow potatoes. And remember, you have to fill this all the way up to the top. And if you leave an inch, you can also mulch over it. That will help the container maintain moisture. This is a great way to grow potatoes. We've covered the fertilizing, um, basic fertilizers, and extra fertilizer if you want to do it. I've been doing this for years. The layering method really works. You will get potatoes at this level, at this level. They may not be the largest potatoes, but you could have plenty for your garden needs. Thanks so much for watching. Please check out my seed shop at the rustedgarden.com. Uh, um, and also subscribe. I'll show you what I harvest out of here and how I take care of these over the season. Thanks for watching.